And good morning, everyone. I'm Ariane Aaron Bureau with your FastCast digital headlines for this Tuesday. Taking a look at today's top stories and hot topics on the agenda for tonight's Anchorage Assembly meeting, and that includes approving the school district's operating budget and a resolution supporting House Bill 89 for daycare assistance and child care grants. Also on that agenda, a resolution to support funding for a House bill relating to teacher and public employee leave. There's also a resolution asking for federal funding to revitalize abandoned properties in, into housing. The assembly meeting starts at five with public hearings scheduled at six tonight. And Alaska is one of more than a dozen states heading to the polls on this Super Tuesday. There are multiple polling locations in Anchorage, Fairbanks, Palmer, and Wasilla, with additional locations and communities around Alaska. Now, polls open later today from 3 p.m. to 8 p.m. Alaska's Democratic primary is scheduled for next month. A programming note, Alaska's news source at 6 and 6.30 will not air this evening as network coverage will happen of Super Tuesday. And in just under a month, the municipal election will happen here in Anchorage. Our Alaska's news source mayoral debate is next Wednesday at 7 p.m. between incumbent Mayor Dave Bronson, former Assembly Chair Suzanne LaFrance, former head of the Anchorage Economic Development Corporation Bill Pop, and former state lawmaker Chris Tuck. All four candidates are scheduled to join us. And we are starting the third day of racing. And if yesterday was any example, well, these teams like to get an early start. Many have made their way through multiple checkpoints already, putting more than 188 miles behind them. Good morning. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. Good morning, good morning. Yeah, this is Mila Porcild. She was second into Finger Lake at 5.37 Monday morning. Porcild was the 2020 Iditarod Rookie of the Year. She told the Iditarod Insider that she flew through the technical and infamously challenging Happy River steps. She says she tried to turn her team towards the easier exit, but her lead dogs, well, they just wanted to go the same way they went last year and ended up upside down. It was a similar situation for Jesse Royer. It was way to the inside trying to hold it, but I... I couldn't hold it and I ended up tipping to the right and just as I tipped to the right I could see these trees coming up to the right and I was like oh dear god <laughs> so I was literally just dragging like upside down. And for complete coverage of the 2024 Iditarod be sure to keep it right here on Alaska's News Source or the Alaska's News Source app and alaskasnewsource.com. Those are your fast cast digital headlines for this Tuesday. I'm Ariane Aaron Bureau. Have a great day and thanks for watching.